Now, ladies and gentlemen, a big thank you to all of our sponsors, whom without this event would not be what it is today. I'd now like to switch gears and take the opportunity to chat with some of our speakers about their core messages for their speaking sessions. One of the key topics the summit will be touching on this year is youth for climate action. And to briefly touch on the importance of this topic and why it should be talked about more, I'd first like to bring on the member of the Legislative Council, Yang Bahorma Kairunisa Ashari. <clears throat> uh, wow, you caught me. Um... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> did not expect that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I do apologize. Well, this just proves to everyone that this is not scripted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> totally, okay. um, totally personal. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, um, definitely, climate change is a very, very important issue, and uh, we can see how much traction um, this topic has gained in the past few years, and. We're really, really happy to see a strong interest from the community in terms of tackling climate change issues. And at the, at the core of things, I think it's very, very important for, for us to be able to create conversations around what can we do as individuals? Because a lot of times when we talk about climate action, we look at the role of industries. You know, what, what can industries do more to control our, uh, to limit our carbon, carbon footprint and so on? But at the end of the day, individual actions matter even more. So I hope that this can be a conversation where we can talk about community effort, the role of education, the role of industry and so on. And hopefully we can move forward together. Um, whole of nation, right? Because it will not just, um, we can't just move in silo. It has to be done with everyone together. Thank you. Thank you very much. I can't help but feel so much passion and so much love for this topic right here. And I can't wait to see what you have to share with uh, the, the attendees for the summit. Thank you very much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, to touch on the same topic as well, I'd like to invite the head of Brunei Climate Change Secretariat, Dina Yahya. While we're waiting for Dina to come on, would it be possible for us to remove the quick fire questions for the sponsors? Then we get to sort of see everyone. Yes, thank you very much. So once again, uh, if I could uh, call upon the head of Brunei Climate Change Secretary, Dina Yahya, is she with us this afternoon? Okay, I think uh, Dina might be a little uh, might be a little caught up at the moment. We'll see if she's around. We'll try to check back in and circle back with her later. Uh, in the meantime, one of the big topics that we've mentioned multiple times in all the different speeches uh, and, and questions with all of our sponsors, uh, the topic of managing adversities. And to touch on that, I'd like to bring on another one of our speakers, principal of LZ Hussein and Co, founder and managing director of Elfira Health and Nursing Care, Lailatul Zubaida. Hello, assalamu alaikum, everyone. Good afternoon. Wa Hi, Sean. Salam. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. Um, so, okay, so I'll be talking about managing adversities um, on the day, on the 11th. Um, a lot of what I'll be sharing um, is my own life experiences of um, raising uh, special needs children, uh, life as a single parent, and um, of course, doing all of that while uh, managing, uh, trying to learn the ropes of being a a business owner and a private legal practitioner all at the same time. So it's going to be a very entertaining segment to say the least. Um, so what I hope to achieve through my sharing, I think for the day is uh, perhaps to trigger uh, a realization or an acknowledgement uh, by the participants uh, that life doesn't always go as planned and that that's okay. Um, I hope for participants to come away from my sharing with the assurance uh, that stumbling is a very necessary ingredient of success. Um, and it is um, essentially the human aspect of success that isn't always pretty. Um, and also finally, I think I, I'd like um, our young ones uh, to understand that the definition of success is one we come up with ourselves, that there is no one uh, uniform definition of it that can apply across the board. So yeah, hopefully it will uh, be useful to um, everyone who was there that day. 
Shalom. Spada, I for one am super excited to see what you have to share with the <laughs> attendees. It seems like you are a jack of all trades, uh, juggling different hats. Uh, I'd like to sort of see how uh, how you've been mm. able to sort of accomplish all this while being a mom mm. and being a you know a business owner mm. as well. I for one, uh, I think the one that you touched on that really stood out to me was that um, you sort of want to touch on uh, the the things that happen behind the scenes. I think a lot of people when they see success stories, they tend mm. to focus on the results. And they never That's really right. see the journey it takes to get there. So for you to be able to share all that, I think will be very beneficial to everyone tuning in. Thanks, Nasri. Thank you. I look Thank forward to it. Much. Thank you very much. Now, ladies and hey, gentlemen. Hey, Nasri, I, yes. I have to jump in because you're one of the speakers. <laughs> and you're not, you're, I'm not letting you off the hook so easily. Right? Oh, exciting <laughs> so to times. The, to the hundreds of fans in here, what is the art of people and what are you going to teach us? Well, uh, it's 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 interesting. I spoke to Sean about this a while back, and uh, I think we're going to be talking a lot about making really meaningful connections with people. Now, I I, I just like Zubaida, I, I don't juggle as many hats, but I juggle a few. Uh, I do I do a lot of different things that are a little outside of the box. I'm a I'm a fitness instructor. I'm a magician. I'm a radio DJ. I'm a host, uh, and anything and everything in between. Uh, and all my jobs really sort of uh, teeter on the balance of making connections, meaningful and, and lasting relationships with people. So that's definitely something we'll be uh, covering in whole. And we might see some magic as well. So there you go. <laughs> Can't wait. Thank you very much, Sean. So ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of today's virtual press conference. We would just like to let you know that our program curator, Sean Hoon, will be talking about logistics and taking direct questions right after this. So if there's something you needed to ask or needed addressing, please stay on the call. We thank each and every one of you for taking the time to join us this afternoon. We can't wait to see all of you soon. A lot of exciting things happening for BIBDS 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Nazri Harif. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera. Hey, Nasri, well done. Thank you so much. Can't wait to learn from you. Uh, I, I'm taking over the floor right now. I hope that some of you will still be around. <laughs> um, I, I'm here to, to answer questions uh, for you know, all the participants, the, the school principals, the, the school representatives that are with us. Uh, because I, I know that it's going to be a three weeks process that you all would like they have a lot of questions. Uh, before I go there, I, I, you know, just now during my speech, I mentioned about the highlights. And then, you know, the first part of the highlight, uh, the really outstanding local speakers. Uh, the second part of the highlight is, you know, we have once a week a headliner from around the world. Uh, you know, from our first week, we have uh, Mr. Yep. Uh, Chia Amos, uh, who is from Russia, you know, dialing in all the way from Russia to talk to our young people. Uh, Chia first got into my radar when, when I was scrolling Facebook uh, and, you know, his story stood out because, uh, you know, he, he is a musician. He is a top uh, concert uh, director, music director in Russia. And during COVID, uh, you know, for a period of eight months, he was out of the job, a job, and uh, you know, all his events are cancelled. And him being a very young person, you know, the the savings sort of dried out. So he made a decision from Russia. He flew back to Singapore uh, because he can live with his sister. And then, um, you know, he got a job as a grab uh, delivery rider delivering food. So, you know, I thought that this is a remarkable person that, you know, that would speak right to the heart of all of us Brunayan. I think one of the biggest problems that we have as Brunayan is we know everyone in the community. So if we are waiting at McDonald's, you know, it's not how difficult the job is, but whether or not our friends and relatives would see us and whether or not, you know, they will look down at us as a result. Now, so, you know, we're bringing in Chia Amos because, you know, if, uh, you know, someone who is a music director high up in Europe would not mind, you know, to adapt 
uh, during difficult times to do what it takes to survive. I don't think any one of us can have any excuse. Uh, I spent a good one hour and a half just chatting with him, absorbing all his experience. Uh, you know, he is a remarkable artist to say the least. You know, his ideas is just mind boggling. Uh, you know, I, I hope to be able to introduce this wonderful person uh, to inspire all of you. So that's number one. Uh, our second week, uh, Vivek Mabubani, uh, a Hong Konger. Uh, uh, if you don't mind, Francie, can you, can you show the pictures? Yeah. Uh, Vivek is, uh, you know, in 2020, uh, South China Morning Post called him, uh, has an article that writes, why is Vivek Mabubani the funniest man in Hong Kong? Now you're looking at an Indian nationality that grew up in Hong Kong that speaks better Cantonese than you and I, or, or me as a Chinese. Um, Vivek is, you know, not, not, not only a comedian, you know, he's really funny. You just search his name on YouTube, you find so many clips. Uh, he will be teaching us the art of communication, right? What can you learn from someone who, who, who does stand up yeah, day in and out uh, to make people laugh. You know, the, the most difficult, difficult job that anyone can do, and I think that uh, Natsri can, can attest to it, is, you know, making people laugh and, and be a public speaker. So we, we are literally having the very best people that is coming to share their story with you, to share with you how they do it. Uh, I would highly encourage all of you uh, to check out his TED talk. He has two talks on TEDx that, uh, you know, just Google his link, you'll be able to find him. So that's week number two, as we talk about relationships and communication, we have Vivek Mabubani. Now, the, the third week, uh, we have another super heavyweight. Uh, Rumaitha al Busaidi and I met in Geneva five years ago at a, a, a Global Shapers Summit at the World Economic Forum headquarters. Uh, you know, I, I was telling uh, the sponsors that uh, Rumi, as I call her, and I instantly gel. You know, even though I'm a non-Muslim, you know, being in, on the world stage with uh, someone who is a Muslim and who is, you know, me being from Brunei, instantly we understand each other. Uh, what, what is so special about Rumi is that uh, you know, she is a marine scientist. Uh, she is the first woman in the Arab world uh, to be featured uh, as a football commentator on TV. She is the first woman in Oman to have gone to South Pole. Uh, that's not it, yeah? Uh, her TED talk is viewed over 1.2 million times as we show you on the, uh, uh, on the preview of our video just now. Um, what is fascinating about Rumi is that, uh, you know, she is an advocate for ch climate change, but the way he approached it is through educating women, because she believed that by educating women, you know, you can save, save the planet from, uh, from environmental disaster, and you can make a better world. And I've got two daughters. I can't wait for them to, to watch and follow Rumi's footstep. Uh, you know, however I plan anything, I always think about, you know, what would I want my two daughters to be like to learn? And, you know, these are the people who are role models, uh, you know, in their very own right. And I, I really hope that uh, you all can be a part of it and, and ask them questions. So, so that's, that's um, you know, the highlight. Uh, does anyone have any question? that I can answer. I see that uh, despite Natsui leaving the room, I still have 213 people hanging out with me. So I- I'm still here, Sean. I'm still here. Sean. I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder. Please don't go, Natsui. Um, okay, I, I wanted to address something that uh, might be on everyone's mind. That is, um, you know, we have two categories of participants, the core participants and the uh, general participants. What is the difference? 
and um, you know how can you make the most out of uh, out of the summit, even if you are not part of the Edge program. Uh, let me start with the difference between core and general participants. Uh, the core participants are the 180 participants from the Edge program, uh, who would, as I mentioned in my speech, be going through uh, three weeks of intensive additional homework that we have given to them. So they are to form their own small little groups uh, of 20 people every week, whereby they are given topics such as emotional intelligence, such as growth mindset, and, and they are to dive deep in to research on the topic and to answer questions, to debate and discuss with, uh, with, with their fellow teammates and you know, come up with presentation yeah, to teach all of you during the main day. So it's very, very scary. Uh, but you know, this is, this, this is what I mean by learning without knowing. You know, they are developing growth mindset, they are developing the 21st century skill sets. You know, what, what are the four main, pillar, main, main pillars of 21st century skill sets? Number one, you need to have great collaborative skills. Number two, uh, you need to have great critical thinking. Number three, you need to be creative. Uh, number four, you need to communicate. So without realizing that they are being exposed to learning 21st century skill set, they are actually being thrown into deep water to learn how to swim by themselves, uh, to learn how to organize group, to learn how to lead one another. Um, you know, I, I have, uh, we have just put up the, the link for registration for the core students. The latest update is we have about 120 applicants already. Uh, in our general participants subscription uh, registration form, we have a special question that asks if there is any extra slots, you know, whether or not uh, you would like to opt yourself to be a core participant. So make sure that when you do your registration, you take that one. If there's extra slot, you know, it's the first come first serve, first serve basis. Uh, you know, we want you to experience it. Now, if you are representative from the school, how can you make the most out of it? My advice is we are going to open up all the assignment homework uh, uh, resources in our document on the Google Drive, not only for the core students. Everyone, everyone can join, everyone can log in and look at all the preparation question, all the assignments that's being given. And if you are from school, you have 20 students that are coming, right? And they are general students. What you can do is you can organize, you know, small groups for your school, right? Even though they are not presenting on the main stage, you know, they can present, you know, to their own classmates. Yeah, there is no stopping for you all to be as creative as you want to make the most out of this. And, uh, you know, I think I speak for all the sponsors, you know, um, in, in wanting this to be an inclusive exercise. But for practical purpose, you know, it's just impossible to have a thousand people and break them down into small group. So this is a collaborative process where, you know, we urge the, the education sectors, we urge uh, the, the teachers, the principals, uh, the, the counselors, you know, to each self-organized group, yeah, to, to make the most out of, uh, of the resources that has already been prepared for you. Uh, anyone have any question? I can go on, <laughs> right? <laughs> Sean, there's one question on the chat. It says, since the program is virtual, will um, public be allowed to watch the sharing session? Um, we, are, we are considering that. You know, what? one of the, see, we were looking at a thousand people in a room. Yeah, in that afternoon for three hours, whereby there is high interactivity. Uh, and the, the name of the game in order to make it effective is interactivity. It's not about scripted conversation. It's about us, you know, talking to each other like human beings. So, you know, if we're going to air it, uh, you know, we're going to record it. Uh, first, of, first and foremost, we are going to uh, uh, air it on YouTube, uh, you know, further down the line. But, you know, it, 
it's not going to work if you know you you view it as an exercise whereby this is another online training course that you are passively watching you know this should not be taken as any other training course where you are there as a spectator you are here to participate as an active participant in raising hand in debating in disagreeing and in challenging the status quo that is how we can learn together as young people so um, you know we, we we hope that we have a thousand voices we hope that everyone will be aggressive everyone would uh would have input in this um yeah any question And one question from the chat, John. Yes. Will we have an opportunity to talk directly to the sponsor representative? Of course. Of course. <laughs> so, let, let me give you the structure of the program um, very quickly. On top of our guest speakers, we'll have three teams. Each of the team would have a half an hour session. Now, during that half an hour session, 15 minutes is given to the presenter, the presenting team. And then after that, the mentors who are our sponsor will come on board to provide their feedback and their insight on what have just been given in the speech. Yeah, that would be about 10 minutes. So we will have five minutes in which uh, you, can, you, you can ask questions of the sponsors as well as of uh, the presenters. Uh, you know, and this is a further more uh, important reason why you should be a core participant if the slots become available. The sponsors have kindly agreed to dedicate half an hour of their time yeah, to go to meeting, uh, to hang out with the young people as a mentor, to provide feedback and help them uh, with their presentation before they get into their presentation. I mean, can you imagine uh, Progressive this morning sent me three names of their C-level executives, right? Uh, that, that are going to come on board to become mentors. Uh, we might get all three if we're lucky, at least we'll get one, right? Because I think that every other sponsor uh, <laughs> one apart uh, to, to speak on this program. Uh, you know, BIBD already put their name on SDG Go. Yeah, um, you know, it, it's just going to be exciting. Uh, now, why should you be excited about it? If you are strategic about your future career, right, you should make that opportunity whereby you are hanging out with your sponsors, who is your mentor, who is the GM of Total Energy, make a great impression of yourself for him right uh and, and keep in touch right i mean during my days uh i never had any opportunities to talk to any ceos and here you are having the chance so uh yeah uh you will have a chance but it is for you to create the opportunity yourself anyone have any other question Um, there's another question on the chat. It says, is there anything we can do to prepare ourselves for the event? Yes, uh, absolutely, absolutely. Now, three things you can do. Number one, uh, you need to learn everything there is about the speaker. That is extremely important because uh, you would be having a totally different experience if you come in prepared. Yeah if you know the insights of what each of the speakers have gone through. And, you know, today you can access to everyone's social media. You know, you can access to any YouTube videos that they may have uh, on, uh, on the internet. So there's no reason why you can't do your own research. Uh, you know, I guarantee you, if you are to do your preparations and come, you will see the whole program in a totally different light. Uh, number two, is, um, you know, as I mentioned just now, there are 
10 different sponsors who will be in the room, right? Use this as an opportunity for you to find your future jobs, okay? So be really prepared, yeah? Uh, be really nice to the sponsors, be really nice to the speakers, make an impression, yeah? At every opportunity, pass them your CV. Don't tell them I tell you that. <laughs> and um, the third one is obviously, um, you know, as I mentioned, we would be opening up all of our assignment documents to everyone. Yeah, it is your duty uh, to make the most out of it. You know, 50% of what you will be learning from uh, the, the summit is going to be from the organizer curating the program for you. The other 50% is really during the breakout session, uh, you know, be it you are a core student or a general student, that you are proactive enough to find a group of people to, to wrestle with uh, in the ideas that was being presented to you. Now, um, you know, let me, let me share with you something that I've learned this year, that, that I've been thinking so much in my mind. You see, we, as, as an event organizer, one thing that I have to be extremely honest about is because everyone right now is looking at the screen, yeah, there is not much competitive advantage of me being a speaker, uh, you know, being on a screen. Because at one click, if you were to type on any topic at all, you can type on and find someone who can speak a hundred times better than myself or any of the speakers that I've put together. You know, there is no limit to your access to information, right? So let's not pretend that you are going to come here and learn from the speakers. You are going to come here and put the theories to test. You know, we're going to give you links of the best speakers, uh, the best thought leaders in the world for you to deeply think through and, and learn from. And then here is your platform to learn by teaching, you know, to learn by disagreeing, to learn by challenging one another. Now, this is where you get the most value out of this platform, All right? So let's remember 50% you, 50% us. Together, we would make this, you know, the greatest experience that would be life-changing if you were to give it an opportunity. So guys, any other question? Come on, uh, would someone just turn on their, their camera, their mic, you know, instead of hiding in there, I'm going to make you so uncomfortable during the next three weeks to challenge you, to push you to be the 21st century leaders that you need to be. So anyone uh, have any question? Any students? We are at your disposal here. <laughs> Hey, you have 10 potential employer here to make an impression <laughs> of, uh, you know, don't miss the opportunity. Uh, hi, is uh, Rashika trying to say something from Stick Free? No? Okay, okay. Can we check if Pondina alias is still here? Oh yes, Pondina alias. Are you still here, Pondina? Because I understand that she was trying to speak and she was muted. Uh, maybe not. Pon uh, Haja mm. Nuru and everyone else, uh, before we leave this session, allow me to uh, publicly acknowledge my teammates. Uh, we have uh, let me make sure that I don't miss any name. If I miss any, you know, please uh, put your hands up, right? We have our team leader, Francie, who is our event director. Good afternoon. We have, we have Fatin Aimuni, uh, <laughs> you know, who is our team leader for Youth Empowerment Summit. We have Hafizu Razik, you know, who is in charge of our beautiful, beautiful website, uh, as well as all the IT related uh, disciplines. We have Dorcas Fu, you know, who is our chief editor, right? Uh, <laughs> Aina, uh, Aina Hanani, uh, who is 
a petroleum engineer, uh, you know, who is our wizard in helping you all in all your registration process. Who else have I missed? Did I miss anyone else? Uh, oh, no, you, okay. you did not miss anyone. <laughs> okay. okay, no. Oh, the, Farah. The reason why Farah is sick. Is she here? Oh, yeah, well, she is here. Yeah, Far she Farah is. Hand. Okay, Farah is our operation manager. And each one of them, even though they have just, uh, they are in their university or have just uh, recently graduated, each one of them have been instrumental in, all the, in overseeing all the details of what we are putting together. Now, it gives me tremendous confidence about the future uh, of Brunei having the privilege to work together with this group of really outstanding uh, self-driven individuals whom at two o'clock at night would text me and ask me question, you know, uh, whom, uh, you know, I'll give you an example, yeah, when uh, a few days ago when I asked uh, Aina Hunaini about uh, doing a research for me on how many clusters in Brunei in respective different uh, industry uh, in respective different companies. You know, within half an hour, she went on to the MOE's um, IG page, tabulate all the daily counts and gave me her analysis. I mean, you know, I have dealt with uh, young people from Brunei from around the world. We are no less efficient, you know, and I'm extremely, extremely proud to recommend each and every one person that will be stepping into the workforce to all of you sponsors. Uh, you know, you'll be very lucky to have them because they have been put through the test in, in this very high pressure environment to do conferences. Um, you know, I hope all of you can look up to these people as example and seize every single opportunity there is to pull up your hand and say, hey, what can I do to help? How can I make a difference? Because that is the only way for you to learn. So with that said, um, you know, join me in applauding these six, seven outstanding young people yeah, who will be driving changes in Brunei in no time. So guys, um, any other questions? Um, Sean, there's one question on the chat. It says, what okay. specific presentations do students need to do during the conference? Ah, <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, do you have, can someone, can, can you go on to our program page on, uh, on our website, please? Okay. Can someone share screen? So every single week, there is a specific theme. We start with the first week being resilience and adversity. And then second week, it's on communications and relationships. Third week, it's going to be on social impact. So uh, are we ready? So the first week, you know, there are three specific uh, topics in which we will have young people presenting. The first topic is growth mindset. The second topic will be on emotional intelligence. And the third one, what is the third one? Let me see, um, on management and adversity. Uh, go back up to, uh, to week one. So those are the three topics that, um, you know, uh, the, the individual team are going to, uh, to present, right? And then second week, let's go down here. Yeah? We're going to have the first one, etiquette, and first impression, you know, this is so important. Uh, you, you all have no idea. You don't realize that it's not how much you know uh, as, as be the smartest student there is. But if you lack this skill, uh, you're not going to go far. So, you know, make good first impression every chance that you can. Yeah. Second one, effectively, uh, effective communication online. Now, love it or hate it. You know, Zoom meeting is here to stay. If you don't know how to speak to a camera, if you can't feel comfortable 
uh, in talking to a machine, as if you're talking to your best friend, you know, you're going to be left behind. Yeah, if you don't know how to set up the lighting uh, in presenting a great presentation, you know, you, you never know. Um, your next interview may be on Zoom. That is how you get your, meet, your, your, your first real job. You know, the world has changed forever. This is a skill you need to master, right? So the third one is the power of gratitude. Now, this is a very simple topic. This is my favorite, favorite exercise with a twist. We're going to get everyone, uh, every single participant to write an essay about, uh, you know, someone who have influenced them in their life. All right. And then, um, you know, during the small group, they are going to share the story. And then we're going to invite the best stories uh, to, uh, to be shared with all of you on how someone have impacted them. Now, the ability to, um, to identify that someone has made a difference in your life, you know, to, to show gratitude is one of the virtues in life that we all have to learn. Now, you know, as some of you may have um, figured out, all of these skills are extremely, extremely important, but none of them are one way or another being taught in our traditional education system. Yeah, um, you know, which is why we work closely with the Ministry of Education to make sure that, you know, we work hand in hand in complementing each other to bring out these very worthy, very, very important social skill sets to all of you. Now, the very last one, week three is jam packed with so many different speakers. Um, you know, the, we're going to have um, Youth for Climate Action, No Limit for Change. Okay, now for the students who will be presenting, week three is not about presentation. Week three is about putting yourself out there as an interviewer. So the twist is uh, the group are going to learn everything about the, uh, the, the NGOs that they are being assigned to. Yeah. So instead of having the NGO to introduce about their NGO, the group is going to introduce and share with you who the NGO are that they are researching on. That's number one. And then number two, the group is going to have an opportunity uh, to present, uh, to no, not to present, to be the interviewer. So it would be the young people interviewing the NGO, right? As if they are the show host. Now, this is going to be a fun and exhilarating and a scary exercise. Yeah, if you are to dive deep inside, yeah, and uh, if you are to uh, allow yourself to stretch yourself, I guarantee you this would be life changing. So, you know, on our last week, uh, you know, we, we are honored once again to have YB Kaironisa uh, in conversation with uh, Dina Yaya, uh, who is the head of uh, Brunei Climate Change Secretariat. And that conversation uh, will be facilitated by the team at BIBD. Uh, you know, it, it would be really, really fun. So uh, I can't wait to bring to all of you a very uh, new way of learning things that is much needed uh, for everyone here today. So uh, with, I hope I have answered your question. Uh, anyone else have any question? Um, okay, I, I will end by this. Uh, we, we, today, you know, our core team, as we were having meeting planning for, for this event, we have made the decision to cut off at 950 people. Um, you know, by the rate we are going, we're going to go way past 1000 people uh, uh, registering to this program. Uh, so already with the scholarship students plus the core students from the edge group, we are, we are looking at about seven, 800 students. Yeah, um, 
the reason why we cut off at 950 students is that we want to make sure that this program stays on uh, the Zoom meeting program instead of a Zoom webinar program. Now, the difference between a Zoom meeting program and a Zoom webinar program is that Zoom meeting program, we can see each other like this so that you all can ask questions so that we can talk to each other. The minute it migrates into Zoom webinar, it would be you seeing my face and the speaker's face. There is no sense of community. We can't learn anything by uh, not having that communal exchange. So, you know, uh, it looks like we're going to have maximum of about 100, 150 paid registration. Uh, and we're going to turn people away. Uh, so if you think that this is a program that is worthwhile of you and your friend's time, you know, uh, please action quickly. We're going to have a cut off. We're not going to have anything more than a thousand people. We have seats reserved for uh, stakeholders, for responses, from the government, you know. So in all, at 950, if we cut off, we will hit a thousand and that would be the maximum we can pay. So uh, yeah, we, we hope that, uh, you know, you will take it on. Uh, you know, if, if you want to participate in this and your school has not been nominated, it's okay. We have a, we, we have a, a banner on our registration website that says, I want to be a part of it uh, and I want to apply for scholarship. We would allocate uh, general scholarship for applicants but make sure, make sure the mandate that I have for Aina in, in selecting uh, the scholarship student is how well you present your case in, um, in, in, in telling us why you should be selected as a scholarship student. We need to be mindful that nothing, nothing in this world is presented on a silver platter from anyone, for any one of us. We need to learn uh, to seize every opportunity and the learning starts now. Right. So anyone else have any question? Um, if not, uh, allow me to once again uh, thank each and every one of our esteemed sponsor. Uh, you know, allow me to thank all of our speakers uh, who will be sharing from their heart. I mean, you've heard from some of them today. You know, they are mind boggling and they have gone through life uh, with great experiences. Uh, you know, I hope that uh, I will see you all soon. Uh, special shout out to my good friend Ryan Chong uh, from Chonghua Middle, uh, Chonghua, Chongqing School from Surya, who were with us at BIBD Yes 2021. I, uh, I see quite a lot of uh, familiar faces. Um, you know, I, I know that some of you are still slightly shy. Hopefully, you know, we can turn you into a lot more courageous to speak on camera. Uh, I will be hanging out here as the last person to leave, uh, you know, uh, if you all are not comfortable to ask questions in a big group, uh, you know, as people leave, uh, you can ask me a question. So thank you and um, good afternoon to everyone. I can't wait. Uh, we will follow by, uh, you know, sending you all the links there is, uh, you know, as soon as, if not today, uh, tomorrow. So uh, to all the teachers, all the school principals, all the counselors who are here today. Uh, you know, I'm joining your team for one month. <laughs> I will be a teacher. Uh, you know, I think this is the best privilege ever, uh, you know, to be a teacher and, uh, and to be able to influence our young people. So uh, <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, if Nasri thank is you. still here, uh, thank you so much, Nasri, for being a fantastic uh, MC. Um, I saw Wafa Ismail raising her hand. Hi, Wafa. Is there a question? <laughs> I'm happy to take question. Uh, yeah. Um, so, hello, Sean. Um, nice to see hello. you again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as well. Very happy to see you. <laughs> um, I wanted to ask for a while now, um, what type of characteristics you wish in the youth that you wish to see in this program? You know, I wish everyone is like you. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
you, you know, I want to put myself out there. <laughs> I, I think intelligence is uh, IQ is way overrated. Uh, you, you're not going to go far without courage. Yeah, the, the courage. Yeah, so I, I can presume that all of you are highly intelligent because you all, uh, you know, have the foresight to come to this forum. Okay, but no one knows it. Yeah, when the sponsors are here, they don't hear from you, right? They don't go back and thought, hey, I met someone as Wafa, you know, who has the courage to show us a little bit of her thinking process, right? Now, if a tree in a forest and it falls in a forest and no one hears it, you know, would the tree have ever existed? You know, it's a deeply philosophical question. Uh, you know, the, the answer is no, it never existed because no one hear it, right? And, and you guys are so smart, but if you don't show yourself, <laughs> right? No one would know. You know why Aimuni is hanging out with us as one of our uh, project leader for, well, not one of, as our, as the project leader of Youth Empowerment Summit, because every opportunity she put up her hand. You know, she was asking questions. Uh, she was, uh, you know, she was giving her thoughts. Yeah. So, you know, uh, it doesn't matter if you get straight A in your studies. I think it's nice, right? <laughs> it doesn't matter because if no one knows how good you are, uh, no one knows that you exist. So I wish that you all can be more vocal. I wish that you all can demonstrate more courage. Yeah. Your question, Wafa. Um, hello? Uh, hello? 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 Yes, yes. So uh, you were know, talking about courage. Can I ask you on how to build or, or build more on our courage? Because um, uh, I know what is courage, but I don't have the idea on how to make it better. Like I'm um, building it up more. Uh, Jing Jing is your name, right? Yeah. Uh, Jing Jing, I uh, I can't hear you clearly. Oh. Uh, are you able to uh, either type or repeat yourself? Are you on? Uh, you uh turning your camera on so I can see you and perhaps uh, hear from you properly. Uh, um, uh, yes, okay, hi, welcome. And con congratulations on your courage. <laughs> <laughs> you're slightly blur, but it's okay. Uh, At least you're turning on your camera. Uh, uh, can, can you give me more ideas on how I can build on the courage? Because I have a brief idea. I know what is courage, but I do not know how to improve on it. Okay. Wow, wow. How, how, how do you improve on courage? I think that what you're doing right now, Jing Jing, you know, in, in putting yourself out there, being vulnerable, uh, is, is courageous. Uh, I think that uh, courage stems from knowing that uh, it's okay to fail, as from BGC, who so eloquent, eloquently just now in her in his advice to young people, you know, um, there, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. You know, the, the story of, of Chia Amos, the, the great musician who, uh, who decided from being a, a musician to doing, you know, the, 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 the grab, uh, the what, Go Panda uh, delivery driver. Now that requires a lot of courage, right? Uh, sometimes uh, courage would mean that uh, you have the resolve to control yourself. You know, the person who throw the first punch may not be the courageous, the most courageous person. The person who exercise restraint in controlling themselves, now that requires courage. Now there's a whole new level of, uh, of perspective here that we all need to learn. Uh, that may not otherwise have been taught to us uh, through our radar, you know, uh, and, and courage is something that is so individual. Um, you know, start by doing something that makes you extremely, extremely uncomfortable each day. Yeah, small things, right? If, if you're afraid of cockroach, go and touch a cockroach. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I don't have all the answers. I don't pretend to have. Does anyone have any insight on how to be more courageous? Uh, 
Any sponsors still in the room? Uh, we have the great Rano. Rano, how, how are you so courageous? Um, uh, uh, you know, asking ministers questions day in and out. And, and, and uh, you know, Rano, last night, are you still around, Rano? Oh, Rano is not around. I wish he's around. Someone call him. He's saying that I want to talk to him. Is Rano yeah. Iskandar the Rano you mentioned? Yes, Rano is Oh, yes. He's here. He's I here. <laughs> he's there, but he's my. I don't think. I think he's gone away to the toilet. Yeah. Doing what Rano does it requires courage, you know, uh, putting yourself in the public. So, yeah. Does anyone have any advice on courage? Any any students who are who can who can share on courage? <laughs> Imuni, what makes you oh. so courageous? Oh, it basically takes um, practice. The more you just um, say things to uh, this whole screen, then it'll just come naturally. You know, <laughs> as time passes by, you, you, you'll just want to um, say something. You'll just want to answer the question. You'll just want to share your thoughts because it's been a habit. It's a habit now. So yeah, it takes practice. <laughs> okay, so make courage your habit. Um, anyone else have any practical question? Um, there's actually three more, Sean. Three okay. um, individuals raising their hands. Okay. Before I, I get the, uh, I, I answer the question, right? I want to say that um, we are going to send out uh, the, the document for assignment for all the core students. Now, um, there is only one slot for leaders. Yeah. So, you know, first come, first serve. If you want to be a leader, put in your name. And then we're going to have a special session with all nine different leaders, you know, to, to talk about leadership and how you are going to lead your group. So, um, you know, if you have not registered yet, uh, you know, and you're not from the core group, from the edge uh, students, uh, you know, in your registration, I beg you, right? tick on the box that says, I want to be a core student. And, and it would be a life-changing exercise if you want it to be. So what are the three questions? And who are they? Uh, Gafu, um, let's start with uh, Gafu. Uh, Gafu, do you mind to turn on your mic? Uh, and your, your Hello camera? There. Hey, how are I'm you? I'm very Gafu, Gafu, I'm so happy to see you. Wow, well, I, I didn't expect you to still remember me. <laughs> Of course, you're the one who get to take picture with His Royal Highness. Uh, you oh, yeah. were the star of BIBD Yes 2020. I was so jealous with you. I mean, of you. Thanks to BIBD Aleph and your part. <laughs> uh, do you have all the pictures framed in your room? Uh, the what? The picture with um, Prince Martin. Uh, no, unfortunately. Oh, come on. <laughs> you should put it big. You know, that's what I will do. Now, what question do you have, Gafu? Well, I just want to say that on behalf of my friends who were quiet, I think oh. uh, just now I was also quiet. And then to, to kind of justify that, I think that uh, it's not that they were just being quiet. It's just that they think that they're for the most part, their questions must be some must have some sort of substance first, because uh, I attended one of your speeches and you told me I still remember that you need to have form and substance. So you don't <laughs> just put yourself out there without any substance at all. So yeah, for my friends who have uh, their thoughts, I'm very proud of you. You're very courageous, but. Also for the quiet ones, uh, that's okay too. Maybe someday you will have you know, your own thoughts that you think that is uh, worthwhile for people to hear. And if that time comes, I hope you will be able to be courageous and step outside your comfort zone to uh, you know, project your thoughts. Yeah, that's all. Uh, <laughs> Gafo, can you see the screen? Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, everyone is so jealous of you, Gafu. No, it's, it's not. Uh, 
something I'm really proud of. It's because all thanks to you and BIBD and everyone else too. Um, uh, Gafo, let me let me address what you have just said. Um, you know, I I I one one of the things that I love most in life is interviewing people. Uh, um, as a result, the name of my company is called Curious Mind. Where is my name card? I don't have. Right? And, and um, I don't have my name card with me. Now, the name of my company is called Curious Mind for a very, very simple reason. Because I believe in the power of question. Do you know what makes a great interviewer? Having good questions? Not necessarily. Is having the courage to ask questions that they think may look, that make you look stupid. Right? Chances are, if you have questions that uh, you feel that you are stupid in asking it, everyone else have the same question. It's just that no one asks. Uh, I pride myself as a good interviewer, not because of my spoken skill, right? But because I dare to go to places that make me feel stupid. So it is okay, yeah, to be the dumbest person in the room. Um, that's how you learn. Uh, and, and I think that that is possibly one of the reason why I do well in interviews. Because when I ask questions that I am eager to, to know, and that, you know, seems so obvious, but it's at the back of everyone's mind, everyone will be nodding and everyone will be thinking that, ah, you know, that's exactly what's going on behind my, my mind. So do not be afraid. If you have that thought in your mind, that simple question, it might be in everyone else's mind. Uh, I see. So you're saying that in a way, at least one person, one person should, you know, be the voice of the others. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. 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 Um, is there any teachers in the room? Okay. Um. Okay. We we have no rabbiato that I'm happy to answer question of. Uh, you know, before we leave today, it would be nice uh, to have a chat with any of the educators, principals or teachers that have any question pertaining anything at all about our program. Uh, uh, Rubiato, Hi, how are you Rubiato? I love your background. Uh, you. Francie, this is what I'm talking about this morning. Um, you know, Dunayan House. You know, it's all like palace. Hey, Rubiato, how are you? How can I help? What question can I answer? Yeah, okay, I'm doing marvelous. Thank you for asking. Well, my question here is, what do you expect us to lead and share after this program? Wow, that is, that is a very, very good question. And it's a difficult question, actually. Um, meaning after this program, as in after December, after you have yeah, gone something through like it? that. Yeah. Okay, great, great. I'm glad you asked this. Yeah. Um, the reason why we have week number three uh, with the topic of social impact is because uh, we want you all not just to be a passive learner. Yeah. You you have been exposed to. Uh, leadership skills, you have been exposed to how to manage difficult times, you know, skills that are essential for all of you, right? Um, but what do you do with all those knowledge? You know, if you don't apply, if you don't uh, use them, it's not going to go anywhere. So I would expect that you all would step up, you, you all would continue to uh, oh, yeah, we, we have what four at least four different NGOs there, right? For nothing else, join them. 
yeah, uh, and and volunteer your time, do some good community work, right? Yes. Make yourself yes. feel useful. That that is the very least that I can hope that you would do. Now, second to that, right? Uh, as I mentioned, the best uh, way to learn anything is to teach. Go back to your school, right? Talk to your counselors, talk to your teachers and say, I've learned something here that I think I can share with my fellow students, my classmates, right? Create your own small little groups and, um, and teach. That, that's the only way that you become better. Uh, did I answer your question? Yes, Sean, thank you. Uh, uh, have you enrolled? Have you registered, uh, Rabiato? Honestly, I did. Uh, which school? Are you a core student? Are you from Edge or are you from uh, from General? Mm, I think I'm. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm from General or Edge. Between uh -huh. what school are you from? Oh, I'm. I'm like. I'm. I went to the same school as Wafa. Um, School Pak Masna. Okay, I, I love Pat Master. I have a soft spot. I think I went there to give a talk and I had, you know, you guys left a great impression. Yeah, you, you were, you were. Yeah, well, um, well done and thanks. I look forward to seeing you. Uh, you. We had Joshua home. Hey, Joshua. Hey, how are you? Joshua, I can't hear you. Can you unmute yourself? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing Joshua, well. what school are you from again? Uh, Maktab Science. Geez, the smart student. Yeah. No yeah. difficult question, okay? Okay, I'll try. I guess. <laughs> uh, a problem that I have, I guess, um, a lot of times is that I feel like I don't have any questions. Um, any advice for that? Again, you feel like, so you have a lot of time, you don't have any like, questions. Like, uh, uh, if like it's a project or something and like um, people ask me to ask questions, um, I don't know what to ask, you know? <laughs> I want to ask, but like, I don't know what to ask. And you feel guilty because you want to contribute. And then you don't have a question. And then I guarantee you, Joshua, right after we press the end button, all your questions come up. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, Joshua, I'm like that too. <laughs> Believe me, you know, uh, as curious as I am, um, a lot of time when I'm starstruck, I lost, I, I, I lost my, my train of thoughts. So uh, write it down as if no one is looking, right? Um, the, the, you know, you, you will have question if you allow your mind not to be occupied. The, the problem with us today is that our mind are, is constantly occupied, you know, me included. The moment I wake up till the moment I sleep is this thing. Can you see my phone? Yeah. Um, when you are on autopilot, you know, your mind don't think. Yeah. Asking questions is the way that you are showing yourself that you are thinking, right? So have a sabbatical from the phones, right? You have the best idea when you are in the toilet. Uh, no, okay. You have the best idea when you're in the shower because toilet chances are you're looking at the phone anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, quiet your mind, the question will come. And when it comes, write it down, all right? Give it a try. Let me know how it goes, Joshua. Yeah. Um, um, I have another question as well. Yes, see? See, it's coming. Yeah. Um, I am, um, what do you think Brunei needs most at this time, I guess? We need young people. You know, there's okay. no question. 
Every single sponsor just now gave you the same answer. We need you all to stand up, to step up, to take the lead. Uh, let me tell you why we need you all. My father, right, uh, is having difficulty navigating his phone. Yeah. Um, and he has more money than you and possibly, well, he has more, I mean, every other old person who is retired have got good savings who need to acquire IT skills, right? And they are so, so afraid of the computer. They are so, so afraid of the phone, but they have a lifetime of experiences, you know, of knowledge waiting to be untapped, yeah? So if you all understand the opportunity there is, whereby you can exchange, you can lead the old people in technology by teaching them, yeah? You're going to change the world. You know, you're going to change the way that the old people are going to behave, going to live their life because of that exposure to technology. We need you to step out and, and to start asking question, what can I do? To ask good question as you, you just asked, you know, what do we need in Brunei? That is the first step to making changes, right? Uh, this conference come out of just a single year. Maybe we can pull to, together people, you know, to who, who are like-minded, you know, who have some experience and, and together as a platform, you know, exchange and share our, our common experience. And then evolve, you know, the one sponsor after another, one teacher after another, um, everyone come together, right? Uh, to learn together. I see my, my very favorite student, Wadia Lisani there. Wadia, how are you? I'm doing great, actually. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, yes, nice earphone. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh -huh. are, you, are you doing any acting? Um, the last year, you, you, you sent in very good video. And I was very happy to see you at the Youth Mental Health Champions program. Yes. Yeah. Uh, are you pursuing acting or, or uh, literature or, or poetry? Yes, I am actually um, yeah. planning on wanting to be on camera, actually. Um, I, but I don't know where to start, so I'm trying to learn the basics right now. <laughs> I, I, think, I, I think you have a natural talent. I think Thank that you. you'll go far if, if you allow yourself to explore that avenue. Yeah, uh, you're, you're, I do you know, actually... very, you're very expressive, very subtle. You know, it's not like, <laughs> you know, but, but you're a deep thinker. So, so I think that you go places. Yeah, uh, sorry, you. we Thank have, so much. <laughs> we have Jingjing, Jing, we have uh, Yusuf Asharaf. Uh, why not? Because I've spoken to Jingjing. Jing. Uh, let me take uh, Ashraf's question, and then I'll go back to Jingjing. Jing. All right? Uh, Ashraf, uh, would you mind to turn on your camera and we can talk? Yes. Hey. Um, hey Ashraf. Are you so um, Yes, yeah, so I'm Yusuf Ashraf. I'm from UBD. Um, hey. Yeah, you? Faculty of Integrated Technologies. Yay. I'm, I'm a good friend of um, Hafizul. Um, <laughs> no way right now, but yeah, okay. Um, my question is, um, since um, the theme of this whole program is resilience, um, do you have any personal advice for teens and youth like me um, to stay resilient, stay determined against all the odds? Because um, uh, uh, our age group, um, teens and youth, are also like the most vulnerable. Like we are the most determined, but at the same time, we're also the most vulnerable, in, especially in terms of mental health. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Where do I start? I gave a whole three hours lecture on resilience and grit, uh, starting from sharing the story of how uh, seven years ago I lost everything in a house fire. And then we went through uh, 
we, 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 I went through a series of posts that I put on Facebook about, you know how we have Facebook memories, right? Yeah. And then after a year, after two years, you know, some of the memories that show, and then you go, wow, did I actually say that? Did I actually <laughs> write that? So when I look back at the time of my house fire, you know, I, I saw that perspective of gratitude, uh, of happiness, you know, I mean, the very next day after my house uh, was burned down, I, there was a post, uh, not next day, you know, the next two weeks or so, there was a post that say something along the line that, so there was a picture of me and my daughter in a swimming pool with my daughter fully naked. She was, she was how many years old? She was probably three, four years old, so it's okay, right? Um, and, and the caption says, so the fire has taken away everything, taken away my clothes, but what is stopping me from getting into the pool? Now, when you are facing adversity and you have the capacity to laugh at yourself and, and turn that lemon into lemonade, uh, you'll be unstoppable. So, uh, you know, find gratitude in some, uh, you know, and, and don't be the victim. There is always something that you can find to be thankful for. And, and you know, have a rebellious uh, fighting spirit that, you know, you're, you're never being bitten. You know, I, I love uh, Zara's Stipri's picture, you know, <laughs> Squid Game. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. Uh, that's my favorite. Um, Jing Jing has her hand up. Jing Jing, any question? My camera finally working. Yay! Uh, also, um, so uh, just curious, and I think I might actually have a multiple questions now. Um, how, do you, how do you define resilience for for you personally? How do you define resilience for you for you personally? You, you fall down seven times. You get up eight times. That's actually a book that is on my bookshelf. Oh. Yeah. You defeat define you. You're, you're good friends with failures. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, hey, uh, my my camera has just failed me. Uh, what I'll do is I will go and get the battery and put it back in. Oh. So yeah, I, I will not let the camera define me. So you hang on, I'll be back, all right? Um, anyone have any other questions? Um, there's one in the chat, Sean. Okay, I'm listening, but I'm changing my battery. You know, if, if any of our teammates, um, you know, Frenzy or, or Farah or Aimuni or, or anyone who want to answer, please, by all means, be my guest. I think the big guys, the sponsors are all gone, so I'm a lot more relaxed in talking to you. <laughs> it's, uh, I hope they are no longer here, so we can we, we can go as far as we want. <laughs> you know, it's, it's sometimes very scary talking to sponsors. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is, is there any sponsors around still? Um, as far as I check, <laughs> no. Okay, good. Okay, there's no limit in our chat. What do you want to ask? I'm I'm still around, Sean, but that's okay. You Oops. do your thing. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Who is that? This is me. It's from uh, Calms BIBD. But, but but that's fine. That's fine. Go on, go on. I'm enjoying the session. He's, anyway. he's here to check I'm on me. Okay. I want to no keep problem. this whole session. No, I'm not checking on you. I'm just enjoying the whole session. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, um, the the guy just now who was asking me the question, what's his name again? Um, Joshua, right? Joshua, this is. Can you see my name card? Oh, okay. Let me let me um undo my my backdrop, my virtual background. Okay, uh, none. Okay, Joshua, this is my my name card. It says inspiring greatness, one question at a time. Here it says curious mind. Can you see? Yeah. Yeah. So um yeah. Oh no, I think it's uh is it Wadia or, or, or who, whoever that we were talking about the importance of asking questions. So there's no stupid question during the class. All right. Uh make sure that you're asked.
questions because everyone else would be thinking the same thing. All right. Anyone else have any question? Uh, uh, Jingjing, can you say something? Uh, I have a question about the program. So we we uh, um this we have a we, we have three weeks, right? So after each after yes. each meeting, do we all have a work? Do we all have work to do, or it just depends on depends on what's going on? The sequence is as such: uh, you will all be given the link to all the research materials that you need to learn. Okay. We're going to have a briefing session anyway, but nonetheless, this Saturday, we're going to have a briefing session. Nonetheless, right? The sequence is you would go into the topic and then you would learn the topic. I will give you very, very fun and interesting uh, YouTube link for you to learn. Um, we have Faisal Idris in the room who has gone through many of our program. Faisal, it's not boring, right? All the links that I gave you. It's very interesting. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Sure. So yeah. yeah, it's really um, you need to go it through with an open mind, and then you're gonna learn many things from it. Yeah, definitely. I had my time with Petronas School of Life for three months in a row. I think more than that. Uh, I had a really great time with Sean as well. He always uh, be able to um, able to give so many things that um, even the speakers uh, also quite, quite generous in telling their own stories, lessons, and their own adversities that anyone um, with an open mind really can learn from it. Yeah, it's it's very precious. Yeah, that's what I can say. Um, what, uh, Faisal, that, can you tell them that I didn't pay you to do so? No, 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 no. Actually, I'm, <laughs> I'm, waiting, for the, I'm waiting for Sean to, to, to give me a briefing on the moderating session because I, <laughs> this is like, okay, I think I wait for my turn, but since Sean asking me to speak, so yeah, I just speak right now. No, I'm not, I'm not paid. I'm not paid. I, I just want to sincerely say, um, my thanks to Sean because from the past classes, me and my group, we are currently working on our own, like a podcast, something like that. And then, oh. yeah, so it's called, I didn't type it on the chat, it's called Santai Pod. So oh. we had interviewed two days ago with Chiguani U3. I think every, everyone here knows who is Chiguani U3, am I right? Um, raise your hand. I need some interaction. <laughs> oh, I'm not to sure. To go on U3. Just I want to see some hands. Anyone? I'm not sure know? who Chiku Ali. <laughs> Tell us about Chiku Ali. He's the for me. Um, when I grew up, the other than Chiku Ali U3 before him, it was. Um, E. Ahmeng, do you know the motivational speaker who speak to the school called E. Ahmeng? Um, have, or it was during my time. It was the most, he was the most famous speaking about motivation and all this stuff. It was E. Ahmeng. But right now, if you don't know, because I think he's based, he, the language that he speaks is Malay. So I think other Malay speakers must be familiar. I just can't ensure that because Everyone listen it on the radio, TV, even get invited to schools. But why don't I, I see any hands? You all don't know Chico Ali Yusri? I'm Please not say sure. <laughs> right. uh, consider me joining on a personal level here, right? Okay. <laughs> I'm not representing <laughs> the uh, sponsor now, but okay. I, I think I, I do know, and I think he usually uh, uh, delivers after the prayer. Uh, yeah, uh, so yeah, he's on Crystal FM on Friday and then yep. um, every morning on National FM and then on the other radio as well. So yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm, our group, uh, six of us, we are like taking turns in interviewing. We, we use all the, like most of the interviewing lessons from Sean, like, yeah, 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 I got it like mostly from there. 
in addition to that, that I don't have these chances like learning at um, early age, like you, you all here. Like I would be very jealous that if I had this opportunity earlier on. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, I'll. But anyone else, you like fifty seven, must follow on the Instagram. <laughs> okay, that's all, Sean. I don't have anything else. You know, brief us on the, what part with Dizzy Nazri later on. Just right. bit, yeah. Well, I'm glad you all stay on because the the juiciest and the best part is always after party, right? Um, <laughs> now we, you see, uh, we are going to have DJ Nazri as a speaker on the topic of the art of people. Um, and I was thinking for the longest time, you know, who should I ask to interview DJ Natsri? And during the School of Life, uh, you know, we, we had a dare for uh, mm -hmm. the students to go out and invite the people that is, uh, you know, public figures or, or, or famous people in Brunei uh, to interview. And then Faisal's group actually uh, approach DJ Natsri and invited DJ Natsri for the interview. And, and Faisal and the team did a tremendous job in that interview. Now, if this is a platform about empowering young people, and I don't involve young people uh, on the platform uh, to give their voice, then I'm not doing my job, right? So we, we are privileged to have um, Faisal Idris, along with two other of the teammates uh, to come on board as, as voices of the youth to be talking to DJ Nasri. Uh, you know, I hope that I'll be able to involve more of you in these kind of opportunities. But first, you need to show me that you want the opportunity. The reason why I remember Wadia uh, is because when we say, hey, let's do a video, you know, she was one of the many who submitted video. Uh, and she made an impression, right? So, you know, it doesn't matter how smart you are. If you don't put yourself out there, you know, no one knows that your tree has fallen. Um, does anyone have any other questions? I have uh, a question. Vanessa, how are you? <laughs> Hello, sorry for interrupting it's okay. you. It's all right, it's all right. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, or just now I asked a question on how to prepare for the event. And you said we could throw our CVs at the sponsors and speakers, right? Now that most of them are gone. Can you give us any tips on how to do that? Like for someone like me who doesn't have a lot of qualifications, I just finished my A-levels. I don't have mm -hmm. um, certificates from courses, a lot of the degrees or anything. You know, um... The, the person, right, with a megaphone on the street, yeah, you know the megaphone? If you're, you're, you're a street singer, you have a megaphone, you can shout the loudest and everyone can hear you, right? Uh, you would just be the loudest people person on the street, yeah? Unless, you know, and, and people can hear you, right? But they don't listen to you. In order for people to listen to you, you need to touch them, right? You need to be relevant to them. Now imagine, right, just now, Mr. Jerome Sanias, who is the GM of Total, yeah? And imagine if you have been attentive in taking note of what advice he's just saying, and you want to be a petroleum uh, uh, engineer one day to work for Total. All you need to do is when during the meeting that he is speaking, yeah, and you put up your hand and you say, hey, Mr. Jerome, during the press conference, you actually say A, B, and C. Yeah, this is why I agree or disagree with you. Now, regardless if you agree or disagree, would he remember you? Yes or no, Vanessa? Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, because, if I make a good point. There's nothing, yeah, there, there's nothing like having someone really, really listen to you, correct? Yeah, now, the difference is you can throw your CV 
you know, 100, 800 people can throw the CV at Mr. Jerome, right? It would be almost like having the loudspeaker bombarding at him. It's not going to make any difference. So the question is, how can you be thoughtful? How can you go a step further? You know, if you have done research about Total, right? In knowing what their CSR commitment in, uh, is, in knowing, you know, what the company stands for. And when you speak to the, the senior person, you know, the, the CEO, the, the GM, whoever it may be, um, they will remember you. And, and the trick is, you know, forget about talking to the top guys. You know, in any conference, right, after any talk, everyone wants to talk to the top guy. Yeah, but no one remember the person next to them. Now, if you want to get close to me, right, you talk to Aimuni and you make a good impression to Aimuni, right? You know why? Because if Aimuni say you are good, I think you are good. Yeah, because, you know, if, and, and I would have spoken to 10, 20 other people, I would not remember those 20 other people, but only one person talked to Aimuni. Right? Do you think that Aimuni will remember you? <laughs> Do you think that Aimuni will mention you to uh, to me? So, so you always have to be strategic. Always have to be thinking about the things that others wouldn't do. Right? The fact that from two hundred and fifty people, there's fifty four people left in the room. You know, listening to the best part. You know, this is how you're going to differentiate yourself. Right? You you you're putting in extra. Yeah, whatever it may be. Don't ever say that you don't have what it takes, right? Because you're not giving it, yourself a chance. Yeah. Hope I answer your question. This is supposed to be a press conference, not an actual seminar. Come on, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, no, it's all right. Keep on coming. I really enjoy talking to you. Oh. I really, you're so pretty today. <laughs> Who else have any question? I do. I have yeah, a well, question. Yeah. Um, I wonder if one day you'd love to gather all the young people who have um, ideas that they want to have a go to change the world. If anyone, anyone in particular, like you want to put them in one room and brainstorm everything. Wonder if what they have in mind to want to change the world. I wonder if you want to do that one day. I'm doing it already with you for common service, <laughs> right? No, I'm getting you guys, I'm giving you all a platform to say what you want, you know, and you all will help me make my dream come true. <laughs> I'd love to yeah, see how we um, make a special community for us to particularly um, make changes to the world, yeah. Um, BIBD uh, Hajan Nuru, the chief marketing officer, does not believe in one-off event. You know, she's always told me that, hey, we need to have sustainability, continuity, and constant meetup to check on you guys. Um, so it is something that is, uh, you know, emphasized by the sponsor. Uh, uh, you know, I, I would love to have the opportunity to have gatherings, uh, you know, when, when things become better, uh, whereby we can engage each other. I think that's a great idea. Maybe I should make you a leader in making this happen together and we can work together. It would be a huge honor. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Dorcas, can you please write down and make sure that we remember why they are saying that <laughs> she's committing to be a partner to make this happen, okay. <laughs> so record it. <laughs> okay. Um, anyone else have uh, Ryan is still there? No. Let me see who else is there. Um, is there yes, anyone? Sean, I'm still here, Sean. I'm still here. Hey, hey, my good friend Ryan. Yeah, How's the family? Uh they're good. They're doing good now. Okay. Okay. Um, are you joining this year's uh, summit? Yes, I'm joining. That's great. What are you? What what year are you right now? Uh, I just finished my O levels this year. All right. How did it go? Uh, we 
we took the exam online because we cannot go to school. So Did you cheat? No, no. If if anybody cheat, if anybody cheat, and if they are caught, they will be disqualified. But of course, there are like still so many ways. So you just have to be true to yourself. You know, um, is there any educators here? No teachers, right? You know, I think that it is so primitive to ask people to have exam in front of a screen. And, you know, I'm so against examination, so, so against having to memorize for exam, you know, uh, which is why I was never a good student to start with, right? Uh, if all the answers are on your phone, uh, why, why do you want people to, to sit for exam, right? You want people to create questions for exam. Now, that is the ultimate exam, right? To, to ask good questions. Yeah. So, uh, but that's beyond me, I, uh, you know, which is why I, I can only be a teacher for one month and then they'll kick me out. <laughs> uh, anyone else have... I've been talking for three hours, guys. Um, anything, any, any constructive question, anything that you want to ask? Hi, Sean. Uh, sorry. Yes. Uh, sorry. Kiara, right? Or Kyra? Uh, Jaller. <laughs> his name is Jaller. Silent K, never mind. So, uh, can, sorry, can I make you elaborate on what you said about taking tests? I'm very curious about that. Don't quote me. Okay. That is a trap question. That is a trap question. You're going to go back to school and you're going to tell teacher and then I'm going to be in trouble. <laughs> okay, never mind then. No, I, I, no, no I'm kidding. Uh, I, no, I, I mean, in all seriousness, uh, we, we don't need... Uh, the way that society works today, right, is uh, information there, there is, is flat. Anyone can have access to information, right? So what, what is exam's ultimate purpose? Is to show how much you remember, yeah, or how much you understand, right? And, and you know, today, you can understand anything because there's an answer called YouTube, right? So why, why should you have a system that required you to show how good you are by showing how good you are understanding? Why can't be, there be a system where, where it reflects how good you are in how well you are solving a problem, in how well you are in creating questions that has not been thought of before? That, that is just something that I'm thinking of, uh, that I'm trying to incorporate in in the learning. So um, I, I was sharing with our staff yesterday about the design of the program. Uh, there is no part of the question that will ask you to define any ideas. So there's no definition on, you know, what is emotional intelligence? I mean, YouTube have all the answer, but what do you think of, you know, how emotional intelligence can be applied to your life? You know, why are you afraid of uh, people with uh, you know, why, why are you afraid to develop your emotional intelligence? Those are immensely more interesting questions than what we all learn traditionally in an exam whereby we are asked to provide definitions as such. It means nothing when you can have the answers at a click of a button. So, so that's what I mean by uh, uh, I think exams are oxymoron. I think exams are useless. All right. Thank you so much. Oh, don't quote me. Don't tell your teacher. I said. Of course. If you want to see me next year, be kind. Okay. <laughs> of course, of course. Um, but yeah, I, I do advocate for education. I do advocate for you all to study and learn. All right. Uh, I, I just the method. I, I, I'm not in agreement with. I think education is still the bedrock and the most important thing. Uh, the lady is, is Kyra Wadi, right? Kyra, um, any question? Mm, hi. Mm, my yes. question is, um, what do we do when we, um, when we feel stressed out during the event process, which hence making us 
uh, hard to stay motivated during uh, when the things go wrong? First of all, I am the antithesis of stress. I hate school. So you're joining me to hang out in the coolest way possible to learn. There's no stress. You'll be pushed to the limit. Yeah, you'll be challenged to have courage. Yeah, you will be challenged uh, to having to think about things critically. Uh, the way that I define stress is having to memorize something the day before exam. Now that's stressful, right? Uh, I, I think that, you know, as what uh, Faisal has said, you, you're going to have lots of fun. I mean, I'm going to give you videos and, and video clips of things like cartoon, like Madagascar, and ask you, what do you think of this? What do you learn? What, what do you learn from the cartoon on resilience, on, 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 on leadership? You know, uh, so I think it's about time to make education fun. And, and uh, you know, I, I have to resolve to make this fun for you, all of you. So no stress, guys. Um, Ryan. So, so now, I want to ask, uh, what do you think about Elon Musk? Uh, you, you know, you know, he created his own school. Uh, do you, do, do you like? Do you see that? And I don't, I don't know enough about him actually. But tell me. I, I actually, I'm actually not sure. So, but his thoughts on like the traditional and typical school is also different. So he, uh, he created his own school. Then I actually need to research on that also. I, I was, I was thinking that uh maybe, maybe you already read about it or something. So you. Uh, kind of stuff to say about that, but it's fine. No, I don't know enough about Elon Elon Musk. Uh, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not geared towards tech. So as a result, you know, I know that he's. Uh, I mean, the, the the things that everyone knows, whereby you know he go to space. Uh, you know, he's the richest man. SpaceX. He's got amazing mother. Uh, you know, he is like the Tony Stark of the twenty first century. Uh, is highly charismatic. He is brilliant mind. Yeah, I, I just I just don't know enough to comment on on what he does. Yeah, if you were to ask me about people like Kobe Bryant, I can I can talk to no end. If you were to ask me about people like Steve Jobs, you know I, I love Steve Jobs. Oh, Steve yeah. Jobs! Do you read his book? He had a book, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. Uh, it's a long while ago. Um, I, I remember during the time when he died and the book came out, um, almost instantly, everyone in the corporate world become a whole. Uh, you know, they are, you know, they, they all try to emulate, you know, thinking that there's only one way to greatness is by being the meanest, toughest person, uh, you know, that, that rule by fear. Um, you know, he's highly creative. He's, you know, he's probably the, one of the smartest people I ever live. Uh, and I think that, you know, uh, a lot of what we are doing right now, uh, the world has changed because of him. Uh, yeah, but then I, you know, you, not everyone can be like Steve Jobs, you know, you, you don't need to manage the way that he does in order to get things done. Uh, you can yeah. Manage, you can Steve Jobs is famous for not treating his employees that nice, right? <laughs> yeah. But, you know, with all geniuses, they think slightly different. Yeah. Uh, if not, there won't be. You, you would be amazed by Chia Amos, the, the Russian, uh, Singaporean Russian uh, music conductor. She, he is also thinking on the edge. Very, very interesting figure. Um, yeah, that's that's what geniuses are made of. That's why they are so far few and in between. Yeah. Guys, um, any any related uh, question about the conference that I can help to enlighten? Okay. Um, is there anyone who want to make any statement or who want to share anything before we leave? Oh, um, hi, I have a question. 
Yes, yes. Who um, is that? Uh, Farisha. Farisha, where are you? Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, I can't um, you. How do you know that you'll be a great leader? Like, how do you convince yourself that you will be a great leader for the team? <laughs> it's not for you to decide, right? You, you have to ask the people who are following you. Yeah, uh, that's number one. Number two is uh, sometimes leaders make tough decision that is not popular. Yeah, sometimes it is after a long while then you realize, hey, this person has been instrumental in, in your life, but then um, you can no longer tell that person. And the only thing that you can do is to pass it on to the next person. Uh, that's a cycle of life. So you, uh, a lot of time, uh, leadership is a lonely process uh, and, and you will never know. Um, and and uh, it's always in good faith that you pay it for. I have something for the audience. So yes, Faisal. I have something to Go say ahead. a bit. So yeah, from what I see, I think the participants are a bit nervous in the beginning. So I think that that's normal. So yeah, all warm up. What yeah. once the classes or once the lessons started and you're gonna slowly feel um, enjoy and learn about each your new friends and learn to work together and about the topic. Anyway, what's you're going to learn in, from Sean, especially, and from the invited speakers, is definitely something which is not really taught in your classes, in your schools, wherever you're coming, wherever schools you're coming from. So like what most people say, like it's a soft skill, like you say, like resilience and communication, but actually it's a hard skill where not everyone can easily learn the soft skills like what typically people refer to as. So it's actually the hard skill that, um, which is um, you're gonna learn in this or whatever Sean's teaching, but it's very important for every one of us to have that. So while, while many still refer it as soft skills, I think, these are the very crucial element other than what you've learned in your own schools. So have an open mind to learn something new from this program. And oh, to the leaders just now, I think when you have the opportunity to, like when the universe points out to you that you're gonna be the leader, then not afraid to take it. Like it's an opportunity for you to step another level and be, a better version of yourself, I think. So uh, uh, lastly for Ryan, I, uh, I look highly to uh, Ellen Moss as well. So feel free to connect with me, uh, DM me on Instagram on Sun Tai Pod. Okay, my Instagram is Dragonit Ryan. You follow, you follow my Instagram, I will connect from there. Yeah, I'll follow you now. Sure. Thanks, Sean. Thank you. Well, that's a, a great uh, closing remark, guys. Thank you very much and goodbye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I will be the last Thank to leave.